what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Far-right extremists are showing up with guns all over America, protesting police brutality, while others are hiding on the internet behind usernames and passwords encouraging their followers, operative word, followers, to attend these protests and commit acts of violence against black people. All of this was triggered by the murder of George Floyd, a black man murdered by Minneapolis police officers, choked to death. Family, I ain't got to tell you to be careful. If you are going to attend these protests, make sure you arm yourself so that you can protect yourself. Because I can tell you that these nuts are out there and they want, they want to kick up some dust. Let me tell you something. Most of them have nothing to live for. Most of them, they don't even like the police but they just hate black people more. They want to fight the police. They want to bring harm to the police because they are outlaws, similar to the police. And they want to be able to do anything that they want to do. They like the police when the police is checking everybody else. But when the police tries to check them, they got a problem and they will murder police officers. They have. In fact, most of the time the police get killed, it's one of them that's doing the killing. However, they're not on some extremist list. They're not the ones that are considered thugs and criminals. They're not the ones being locked up in record numbers. I wonder why. Oh, perhaps it's because they have a brotherhood closely associated with dun 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 the police. That's the way it is, fam. You have to protect yourself. Been saying it for a long time. When it go down, you're not going to get a sudden warning. The warning has been going on for years. We've been telling you, prepare yourself. For years and years and years, a lot of people are asleep at the wheel. That will not be an announcement Okay, y'all, on June the 13th, it's going to be an all-out war. Hope you're ready. It's not going to go down like that. And then keep in mind, if it does go down, a lot of these pawn shops and stores that sell weapons, they're not going to sell them to you. Get prepared. There's no way possible you're going to be able to protect yourself and your family against these criminals if you don't have protection. This is how they were able to enslave us in the first place. They could not go up against us one-on-one. -on -one. They could not go up against us group for group. These type of people only strike when they have size, numbers are weaponry. They have to have a clear cut advantage for them to strike. That is the only time they strike. So you have to be prepared. I don't know how, uh, how else to say it. You cannot claim to love your children and not protect your children, not do everything in your power to protect your children. Being afraid of a gun is not going to protect you. Being afraid to have a gun in your house is not going to make the terrorist say, you know what, those are nice people. They ain't got no gun, so I ain't gonna try to kill them. I'm not gonna try to hurt them. But the guy, I'm only looking for the guys with the guns. They are going to ride on you. And guess what? You ain't going to be able to do nothing about it. 
They are going to ride on your children. If they wanted to sexually assault your daughter, your wife, there would be nothing you can do because you're standing up there with a butter knife or a baseball bat. And they waving a AR-15, AK-47, 357 mag, man, you out of here. You must protect yourself, family. Legally protect yourself. Take full advantage of the Second Amendment. You have a right to bear arms. Make sure that you take care of yourself. Protect yourself. They're out there. For example, there are some guys standing in front of a tobacco store in Minneapolis, armed, far-right guys. They say that they were there to prevent looting. But they were also there, they say, to protect the citizens against police brutality. I don't trust it. Oftentimes, these far-right groups and the police are the same people. This is why I don't trust them. Be careful, fam. I'm telling you. I don't know how many more warnings do you need. All of this worried about partying and what you're going to wear to the club and name brand clothes and cars and all this stupid, it don't mean nothing. If you find yourself in a position of servitude, free. You understand what I'm saying? We're already reliving many episodes of the past already. Police killings, these shootings are just modern day lynchings. It's not inconceivable that they could force black people back into slavery. Who's going to do something? What nation out there is going to ride against the United States of America if it, if it tries to enslave its citizens? Who's going to ride against? All other nations are cowards. China is the only one that's not a coward, and they don't give a damn about black folks. So who's going to ride? There's no African nation that has the might to go up against the United States. They're not going to do nothing. So you know what's an indication of that they're not going to do anything? Because they haven't done anything to this point. We are their offspring. We are Africa's children. No nation in Africa has ever rode for us. Never in the past, and it won't happen now. So think about that. We are on our own. Protect yourself and your family. If somebody come after you, the only way if somebody violates you or attempts to violate you, the only way to get them off you is to put something on their ass. Unapologetically. No more talk. What the talking about?